What up, YouTube? For, I guess, my first deck of the format. Well, actually, it's my second. My Chaos deck is the first one. I pretty much didn't have to take anything apart from it. All I had to do was add, a, like, a Black Luster Soldier and take out, like, a Debris Dragon or something. Oh, and Giant Grenade. But that's about it. But anyways, that's a different deck. Here's my uh, second deck, which I'm taking a crack at for this format. Now that there's a lot of new cards that are being uh, unrestricted and stuff like that. Um... It's a deck that I had used probably about a year ago um, when the format changed. Um, it, this deck won me a tournament here at my locals and stuff. Actually, it won me a couple and it got me second place in another. Um, but uh, bringing it back and now with all the new changes with like Exceeds and uh, back then we didn't have Valor, back then we didn't have uh, Solemn Warning and stuff like that. This is still the first beta version of it. And uh, it's still missing a few cards because I didn't know what to cut to put in things like Caius and um, Solemn Warning, things like that. And uh, I'm testing out a lot of new cards as well. Really old cards. I'm just trying to play test and see how they do with the current format and the meta. But uh, let's get right into it. All right. Obviously, we got uh, two Goblin Zombies. Two Goblin Zombies, like best searcher for zombies right there. Two level three spirit reapers. It's also very great. Um, lets you pull out nine level nine synchros very fast. Uh, Trishula, Mistworm, things like that. Very great. Uh, Plex spreader, of course. You know, one staple Mezuki for zombies. And one zombie master, which is always great. That's all you really need to uh, pull off the zombie OTKs and whatnot. We got Stratos great because it lets you search out two malicious which is also a great destiny draw coming back to two really made destiny heroes playable again just it's funny how just one the absence of one card makes a complete archetype unplayable uh, one destiny hero diamond dude this deck's chock full of a lot of normal spells so you have a high probability of hitting them with diamond dude's effect which they can't really negate unless they have like uh, a chariot or something like that divine wrath uh, one destiny hero Doom Lord, it's one card you haven't seen for play in a long time. That's it for the Destiny Heroes. Um, we've got one Dark Arm Dragon, which is always great. You can control the number of darks in the grave. One Gore's Emissary of Darkness. Another relief from the list, two Necro Gardener, which is ridiculous, especially when you exceed summon, or yeah, exceed summon with these and start sending them to the grave and negating attacks. It's pretty broke. Um, we got two Deep Sea Diva, which is a very great tuner. She can fetch herself or she'll get her little counterpart, Mermaid Archer. You also have Spine Gilman and stuff like that to be able to search with, but for the most part, I like the Archer because she gets underneath um, Bottomless Chapel and whatnot. Alright, on um, to the spells. We've got two Book of Life, which is pretty much Monster Reborn and a Crow in one card. We got two Destiny Draw. Oh, another card got stuck back there. That is Braille from a different dimension. You can take advantage of all the monsters that get removed from play, like Meizuki, Necro Garden, and things like that. Um, Allure of Darkness, of course. Got one Rhoda, Reinforcement of the Army, which is always great. Monster Reborn, of course, staple. Dark Hole, and another staple. Heavy Storm, another staple, of course. I don't know how I feel having Dark Hole. And Heavy Storm in the same format. It's it's a little uh, ridiculous. Uh, one Mind Control. It's great for exceeding. One uh, Book of Moon, of course. It's great defense. The best minus one in the game. Foolish Burial. A card that I'm play testing with. A card that hadn't. It's been around for a very, very, very long time from Pharaonic Guardian. It's a uh, Reasoning. There's a lot of different levels, so taking advantage of that is very very well and it can get you a free monster last of the spell lineup we've got two MSTs of course onto the traps there's only five traps and um, I'll probably go in between this and solemn warnings but bottomless trapple once the the uh, the ruling that'll probably be equal for us in Japan would be the priority ruling these are gonna be a lot stronger more popular maybe even maybe they get strong enough to be reduced to one which will be a shame but that priority ruling is very, very crucial for a lot of monsters. And two Call of the Haunted, of course. And another card that I'm playtesting with, now that MST is at three, Heavy Storm is at one. 
Um, with Judgment of Anubis, it's got a Ring of Destruction effect that only destroys your opponent's monster. It's a counter trap card, and all you have to do is discard a card. And you have plenty of cards, plenty of monsters that want to get sent to the grave anyways. So it's not a bad judgment to give this a try. If you have it, try it out. Um, a lot of people will be still running the Staple 2 MSTs and, of course, the Heavy Storm. Um, yeah, it's just worth a try. Why not? I'm going to give it a shot. That's the deck. It's a 40 card main deck. The extra deck is pretty basic. Um, Formula Synchron, unless you still like a one star tuner and like take control of another one star, it's just there for whatever. Uh, Hyper Librarian, which is great with the, um, what is it, the Spirit Reapers. Gets out level 5 like crazy. Uh, just Cataster, Magical Android, Iron Chain Dragon. Orient Dragon's a great level 6, gets rid of a lot of other synchros. Bryonek, of course, will be your, probably your, your one of choice because of Goblin Zombie. Uh, Black Rose, Staple, Stardust, Staple Special with Malicious and Plex Spreader, and the Divas. Colossal Fighter's a big, big beat stick with all the warriors in the grave. Scrap Dragon, of course. Your Mistworm, which 9's will be very easy to summon in this deck. Trishula. Of course, also another staple. The card I'm trying out, Adrius, the Keeper of Armageddon. You can make, you can spam level fives, and um, he pretty much is a small dad. And then Submersible Carrier Arrow Shark. He's um, level three. He's got small burn damage, but the fact that he's just a level three. There's other way better choices, but I like the way this guy looks. I really don't give a damn. This guy looks cool, so I'll just put him in there. He's a 1900 beat stick, and he deals damage for removed cards. And you will be removing a several amount of monsters so maybe getting in some burn damage but you'll never probably ever win a game with that guy but he just looks awesome and I just felt like including him I really didn't care um, cards that you really need for this deck would be Utopia I'd probably like run one or two I'd probably cut out like the formula and the arrow shark run to Utopia and if you got the roach of course you can always run the roach because sending monsters underneath like level fours like um, the goblin zombie you have plenty of level fours and stuff like that and you can really take advantage of that. Also the Lavera Dragon, especially summon monsters that get removed from play. Super broke. But um, yeah, full. Till next time, I hope you guys enjoy this deck. And peace out.